What what is with what is with the stuff in her hair? What what is going on? Greetings and salutations everyone. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Hafro and today we're getting into episode 5 of The Queen's Gambit. Obviously last episode was a little bit sad. We had Beth losing another match against the Russian which is her very intimidating rival now. And then, of course, we saw the unfortunate death of her adoptive mother. So I imagine she's going to start spiraling into uh, depression and drinking and drugs and stuff, and hopefully she can come out of that. But from the first episode, it looks like she's still kind of in that realm once we get towards the end of the season. So looking forward to seeing what happens, looking to forward to seeing what her relationship is with the other chess people if she ends up getting together with uh, towns and those types of things. So really looking forward to it. I'm not going to waste any more time. If you enjoy my reactions, if you want to see more content, please leave a comment down below with a show that you'd like me to react to. Currently also reacting to The Mandalorian, and I'm going to try to get that out as soon as possible. The show did just end uh, season two, so I'm trying to avoid any spoilers on that. And then I'm not sure what else I'm going to react to once the new year hits. So any comments or, or suggestions is very much appreciated. Let me know what your favorite episode of The Queen's Gambit is in the comments down below so I can look forward to it, or what your overall thoughts on the show are. Please no spoilers. Uh, if you enjoy the content, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel as it really helps me out and helps me know that you're liking and enjoying my content. You can also follow me on my socials, which are at HalfRowThunder on both Twitter and Instagram. And I stream on Twitch, twitch.tv slash HalfRowThunder. We have a good time over there. So if you want, if you enjoy Twitch, please come follow me over there. And let's just jump right into the episode. Weird to be alone. So this is Beth's mom. You got worry about. Possibly other people. Nope. Giving her some advice before she decides before to kill know. herself. Some very deep stuff to be telling to, I think she was what, like four or five at that point in time? Jeez. And now she's back home alone. Oh, uh, she probably has her mom's luggage with her too. Mm, that's rough. That's gotta be the worst thing in the world, having two moms who both died, and then two fathers who both abandoned you. Like, that's just... Ugh. I can't imagine. Say, I can come by then. Why don't you come over right now? <laughs> so, okay. So, so we're back with uh, Harry Melling, the uh, Dudley. It's interesting hearing him with a American accent. That's a lot of chess books. J.R. Capablanca, my chess career. That one. <laughs> she's, she's just read everything. <laughs> I know. You've read it. No. But I have my own copy upstairs. <laughs> so she has a copy, but she hasn't read it yet. Oh, she made them sandwiches. And I, um, got my teeth fixed. Yeah! Got his teeth fixed. Nice. Uh, now that fear is setting in again, she's about to go upstairs and be all alone with her mother's stuff. Of her games with Shinka Ostinowski. You might have learned something. Fuck. <laughs> He's, he's, <laughs> he's either smitten or he's, I, I don't know, what's the word, uh, I don't know, he's definitely trying to impress her, oh, okay, he's found the pills, what's going on here? What's gonna happen here? Uh. <laughs> when you kiss me, be the way you always have. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
Is that her mom's room? I think that's her mom's room. Oh, there he goes. He made his move. Is she not into it? <laughs> I'm ready now. <laughs> he's he's so confused. Now or never. Do it, buddy. You can do it. Yeah, there he goes. Should I stay here or go back to my room? <laughs> <sighs> She's just. She doesn't understand the concept of her her mind is just so different than anyone else's that it's hard for her to comprehend what that could mean to a guy who probably is, you know, maybe not in love but but infatuation at least with her. It's Oh, she's in the lingerie section? That baby almost looked fake. Beth Harmon. Oh my gosh, she has a kid. Oh, <laughs> What what is with what is with the stuff in her hair? What what is going on? I should probably get my errands done before this one gets She uh <laughs> as we like to say, slam shut. Was that a fashionable thing back in the sixties, seventies? That stuff on the hair? Like I've never seen that before. It just looks bad. But she wanted it. Oh, chest review with a picture of Benny. No, I can't. I can't find it that fast. Well, wish you could. What's gonna happen with this since he moved in? I have a bad feeling they're gonna end on like bad terms or something, and I just want her to be friends with everyone, not like ruin all of her relationships. Breakfast is almost ready. He's moving out. Yep, saw that coming. I just don't love it as much as I once did. It's understandable. Oh man, that was good. I really liked that whole sequence with them. So we're in 67 now. That's a lot of tranquilizers. Why, hello, Benny. I read about your game with Will Goblin. Looks like Benny's number one and Beth is number two. You have to get past me first. I'm planning on that too. Yeah, you go, girl. Benny's a dick. <laughs> uh, this montage is very interesting. The Music playing is also very interesting. Oh, she's reading a book that he wrote. Interesting. When they think about chess players, they think about people who look like you. What a dick. Please read your book. You know, get in shape. <laughs> Touche. Study hard. I'm Benny Watts, the chess Indiana Jones. <laughs> Dorm party getting in the way of her studying. Nice to meet you. Actually, we met. You beat me the other day. Me too. <laughs> I, I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> Why still get you some coffee? Point you wise. Ugh, I hate this guy. Uh, give me an apple juice. Oh my gosh, this guy. Fine. One. She's gonna give up her. I don't know. She's gonna give something up in that in that in this game, and it's gonna cause Ben to see something. Is she gonna lose every single speed game against him? Again. She's gonna get into a rut, and then she's gonna screw herself over for the next day when she has to play him for real. Why is she doing this to herself? She's only gonna 
make things worse. She's just angry that she can't beat him at the speed chess, and it's driving her nuts. Which I understand, but she best... I mean, she's, she's just giving up all her money now. Shouldn't have done it, girl. You, he baited you into it. Oh, was that her mom's? Is she kind of taking solace in it? Here we go. I'm interested to see what the outcome of this game is. That many? Hmm. Looks like you can out drink me too. So did she win? I really appreciate the way you're taking this. Okay, so she won. Good. Inwardly. <laughs> A Pabst Blue Ribbon. Haven't, uh, haven't had one of those in a long time. Better. Hmm. One more um, mature. Who'd you have in mind? Yeah, not you, if you're looking for a mature. Oh, and about sex? Forget it. Thank you! I respect him a little bit more for that. All right, episode five down. Uh, I liked that episode. A lot happened. We had Harry Beltic kind of training slash falling for Beth. We, I mean, she's a very beautiful woman, so it's understandable. Uh, but I, I am kind of glad where that relationship ended off. It wasn't any kind of bad blood. He kind of realized that, you know, the two of them probably wouldn't work and he wanted to become an engineer which i applaud him for realizing that chess wasn't really his thing so um i really enjoyed the acting from uh, harry melling there uh for beltic i think uh i'd like to see him in some more stuff actually you know the <laughs> i've only seen him uh in the harry potter movies other than anything else and i think uh, this show really showed his uh, acting chops as opposed to <laughs> being the bully of Harry Potter. So I uh, really enjoyed that. And then we get into some uh, tournaments and we get into Benny Watts, who is, in my opinion, a giant dick and uh, not really not really liking his character that much. Um, so obviously uh, uh, the actor is doing a good job of it. But now we're going to get him kind of training Beth for the French Open. And I, I do applaud him for, for being all about the chess and not about like, hey, we're going to hang out and we're going to do stuff and we're going to, you know, have sex and chess. But, you know, just sticking to being a teacher, I really respect that. So like him a little bit more because of that. So interested to see uh, where the relationship goes from here with the chess and her getting to the open. I have a feeling that uh, some later episodes might even take place after this French Open because I do, I, I tend to say a lot that, you know, we opened with her in France kind of drugged out of her mind and waking up and uh, being late for that, that, tourna that uh, tournament match with the Russians. So I'm interested to see if we get to Moscow now because uh, that's some more information. Let me know what you thought of the episode down in the comments down below. Did you enjoy it? Uh, what did you think of the relationship between her and and uh, Beltic? Uh, what do you think about her and uh, Watts? Obviously, no spoilers, but let me know uh, what your feelings are towards that, and I'd be interested to know. So we will see you with the next episode.